the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 5. These twelve Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the ways of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. Don't go to any of the other nations. The non-Israelite nations do not go to any of them. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Start this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors to the left out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is uh, Jesse back with another Bible lesson. We're going to go into only the Israelites are going to be saved. That's the 12 tribes of Israel right here. 12 gates in heaven, 12 tribes of Israel through the mat. But before we start this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit, and Baha Shem means in the name. So when you call on your Lord and Savior uh, for forgiveness of sins, you call on the name of Yahweh Shah. No longer call on that pagan ass name of Jesus Christ because the letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way your Lord and Savior name could be Jesus. It is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. He's a so called black man from the tribe of Judah. Like I said, you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, you make up the Israelites over here in North America, the United States of America, and these are the rest of the tribes listed right here on this chart. You so called white people, you are the biblical Edomites, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of, starting with the elite banking families. That'll be the Rothschild, Rockefellers, Oppenheimers, DuPont, Gettysburgs. You know, all them elite banking families. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of. Any you, you Europeans. That's a lesson for another day. But um, we're going to go into only the Israelites. These uh, nations listed on this chart. Because uh, they fit the... Um, they fit the curses of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 68. They fit the curses of the Israelites. The 12 tribes right here. But we're going to prove using Bible precepts. That only uh, the Israelites can be saved. And hopefully, the picture's showing up. I got a new Bible at, I mean, a new screen record because I one was messing up. All right. We're going to start it off by saying with Jeremiah chapter 3, verses 23. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitudes of the mountains. You other nations out here, other nations and governments. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh, our God, power, is the salvation of Israel. And these are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right there. <clears throat> Save I one for the last. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verses 3. For I wish, for I could wish that myself was a curse from the Hamashiach, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh mean we are blood relatives with Yahawashah. These 12 tribes. Right here on this chart. Who are Israelites. Verse number four. Who are Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. To whom pertains the adoption and the glory of and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. That all that goes to the Israelites, not the other nations. They like to bring up John what 316. Call on the name of the Lord and you can be saved. And that's only for the Israelites. And the Israelites and uh I think we need to just go get that. Real quick, John 316. That's what them plantation Christians like to do. And them other nations, they want to include their self in on the promises of God, but it doesn't work like that. This is what they like to always say. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Yahweh, that whomsoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. They think they're included in on this. You're not included in on this. And we're going to read it, start from the beginning. For God so loved the world. That word world is talking about the Israelites. It's not talking about the entire world. It is talking about the Israelites. Let's prove it. Book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verses 17. 
But Israel, those 12 tribes, listen on the chart, right? I can't even probably bring it up because I went to that um, precept. But um, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh, in the Lord Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation. Check this out. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. The Israelites will not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. That world in John 3, 16 is talking about the Israelites. The Israelites are the world without end. That's only talking about the Israelites, not talking about everybody. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verses 56. As for the other people, the non-Israelite nations, which also come out of Adam, this is what God has said about them other ones, the other people that came out of Adam, the non-Israelites that came out of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falls from a vessel. God said those other nations, the non-Israelite nations, are nothing before him. John chapter 4, verses 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews, the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel. Y'all know what y'all worship. The book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Oh, it came up again, just like in 2 Ezra in Apocrypha, right? 6 verses 50. Where is that? 6. As for the other people, which also comes out of Adam, that has said that they are nothing. And then you go down to um, Isaiah chapter 40, verses 17. All nations before him are as nothing. The Lord basically said the same thing. So that's how you can prove the Apocrypha is, is part of the Bible. Because they're saying the same thing. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. There ain't no such thing as no spiritual Israelites and none of that bullshit. Like it says in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verses 3. Kinsmen according to the flesh, according to the blood. I guess we and we can end the lesson with this. We try to keep them under 10 minutes. We can end the lesson with left with this one. Which one we're gonna end it with? The book of Psalms, chapter 50, verses 16. You other nations are the wicked. Starting with the um, Edomites, your so-called white people, elite banking families. But until the wicked God says, What hast thou to declare my statutes, and that thou shalt take my covenant in thy mouth? So the Lord uh, God is asking, why are, you taking my, why are you trying to declare my statutes and take my covenant in your mouth when it has nothing to do with you? This is for the Israelites, not the wicked. The book of Romans chapter 9 verses 21 You other nations out here And you so called white people Have not the potter Power over the clay Talking about God having power over Humans Over, over you other nations of, of the same lump to make one vessel Unto honor the Israelites are the vessel Unto honor you so called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians and the rest of the tribes That make up the 12 tribe chart you are the vessel of honor until another dishonor, and that will be the elite banking families, the Rothschild Rockefellers, the Europeans, and all you other nations are included into, into that as well. Verse number 22. What if God was willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? So the Lord is pitting up with these people, letting them continue all this wickedness so he can show his power and how is he going to show his power by sending his son Yahweh Shah here to kill them all and pit and to become the king of kings and lords of lords and this lesson I guess we're done with this lesson keep it under 10 minutes call all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Rakakadash double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity Jesse I would never buy blessing you so called blacks Hispanics and Native American Indians and the rest of the tribes that's on that 12 tribe chart you are the Israelites of the Bible it's time to um, repent rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord meaning keep his commandments to the best of your abilities and when you do sin because the just man falls seven times and gets back up so when you do sin you call on the name of Yahweh Shah for forgiveness of sins and you try not to sin anymore and if you're able-bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching this word in truth and sincerity according to the doctrine of GMS. This is Jesse Apple with another Bible lesson. Only the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians and the rest of the tribes will receive salvation. Only the elect. We out.